G'day folks, Rico here. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to make some do-it-yourself, make it at home, cheap and easy fire lighters that you can take out on your next camping trip. This is gonna be a great little project. You can get the kids involved, get them excited for your camping trip that's coming up. Nothing more than this, a cotton ball and a candle. Too easy, let's get stuck into it. All right, so you're gonna need a few things to get you started. One of them is a frying pan, a bit of baking paper. Now, our foil will do the same job just somewhere to put these when you're done. Now cotton balls, nothing special here, just cotton balls from the shop, cost me a couple of bucks. Here's where I'm gonna get in real trouble when the missus sees this, because I've nicked this candle from the lounge room. Uh, I've also got a little ferro rod here, uh, and some pliers. Oh, I've got uh, something to dip the cotton balls into the wax, and of course, a heat source. Simple as that. Alright, now before you get started, grab your cotton balls and just open them up at one end. Just fluff them up a little bit. Now this is going to make it a lot easier for you to catch a spark off the ferro rod, if that's the way you're going to be lighting your fire lighters. So just get that nice and open and all fluffed up and you're good to go. Alright, we'll start by getting our candle out what do you call that thing? A little bit of plastic there, better get rid of that. Get rid of the candle out of the bit of glass, whatever it's called. It's, uh, it's not easy. <laughs> Grab the pliers here, see if we can give it a bit of a yank by the wick. Oh, it's moving, but not very much. Try again. No. no I've got a better idea. I'm already in trouble, so... Why not? Here we go. Let's give this a proper go. Yeah. <laughs> Just get rid of the glass out of your fry pan. You don't need glass in your fire lighters. Not gonna help. There we go. <laughs> get rid of those bits. Clean him up. All right, get rid of this into the bin. good to go. So candle goes in, gas goes on, get me a little ferro rod, whoosh go. Now you don't need a super intense heat, you don't want to boil the wax, you just want to melt it. So we'll get that over there and that'll take a couple of minutes. Time to grab your first cotton ball, grab it by the pliers, and just literally dip it like that. These things suck up the wax like you wouldn't believe. So there you go, there's your first one done. Now for a longer burning fire lighter, leave it in there for just a little bit longer. The more wax you get in there, the longer it's going to burn, but it can also be a little bit more tricky to light. So there's another one. Grab the next one, just give this one a little bit more, and again just leaving that top open and dry. If you want to make these completely waterproof, soak the whole thing, but you're going to have to cut it open to make it work. Alright, let's knock over the rest of these. Let's see how these go. First one down in the pan. See, I fluffed it up a little bit. I grabbed me a little ferro rod. Spark him up. They're the bits you want to catch. It's nothing special. 40 bucks from BCF. There you go. First go. Now that will burn probably for about 10 to 20 minutes. Just depending on how much wax you've put on there. 
the more wax you put on, the longer it's going to burn. Now, if you're going out in damp conditions, nice thick ones, ones that have got plenty of wax in them, that's going to be the, a, a ripper way to do it. That way when you've got your damp kindling and sticks, thing like that, you've got a fire lighter that's doing the trick. That will go for, for ages. But check this out. Glass of water. We talked about them being waterproof. Still going. So there you go. Cost us absolutely next to nothing. And I got that many, which is a little bit over a couple of dozen, out of the one candle. Well, there you go. It really is that simple. You know, you don't just have to stick to cotton balls either. You can do something like this. This is one of the one of my daughter's makeup remover pads. So a couple of those, dip them in the wax. Completely waterproof. They take up no space. They cost next to nothing. Like I said, this is a great way to get the kids excited for that next camping trip coming up. They can help mum or dad light the fire when they're out there. They'll have a ball making these things. Now, if you've got your own recipe for some fire lighters, I'd love to hear about that. Stick them in the comments below. I'll catch you out there someday. Cheers.